Hey guys, welcome to Adventuring Pals. We are here exploring Litchfield National Park. It's a beautiful winter Northern Territory day today. Temperatures 36 degrees. So we are going to go look for a waterfall or a swimming hole, somewhere to go and cool off. Sounds great. Now, yes. We've been told countless times Litchfield is better than Kakadu. Now we've been to neither, nah. so we don't have any opinions, biased opinions yet. Yeah, but so. we are going to check out both of them. Yeah. Let's chill first. And yeah. yeah, so we're just staying down the road at a place called Zebra Stones, I think. Zebra Rock Art Gallery. That's where we're staying. Mm. 25 bucks a night for powered site, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's really close to the National Park, so we're going to get in there. Like I said, find somewhere to cool off, but it is scorching. Let's, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> See ya. Okay, guys, slight change of plans. Uh, we're driving to the water hole, but the kids are both asleep. So we drive a bit further in this little four-wheel drive track. Mm. It's a very easy little four-wheel drive track, but we are at a place called Lost City. Uh, it's natural rock formations, and it's sort of scattered around. It looks like a old ruins of some old um, civilizations, but it's not, it's just <laughs> rock formations. Um, yeah, but it's really cool, eh? We'll go have a bit of a walk around, show you guys around a bit, and yeah. This is a big baby open. I can see that, yeah. It does look like a baby elephant, hey? You can have an eye. All right, what do you think of this, the Lost City? Oh, that was pretty cool. We uh, we felt like we were in a Lost City, like in Cambodia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. Uh, the structures are very interesting. I haven't seen anything like it before. And you can see like the trees, like big trees growing out of the rocks. There's the figs coming out of the rocks, just like in oh. Cambodia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah. was awesome. And every rock looks a little bit like a person in some sort yeah. of way, a person or an animal. A so. lot of shapes we can make out. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, definitely worth a look in if you're in Litchfield National Park, checking it out. Yeah. Don't be scared by the four-wheel drive track. The signs say you need a high clearance four-wheel drive and all that. And it, it helps, but yeah, the track in is it's just a track. A dirt road. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing really hard about it at all. Nice and easy. Uh, I think we spend more time waiting on the side of the track for cars to pass, eh? Pretty busy here. It was busy, uh, yeah. Yep. But now it is really proper hot and I'm really keen to go for a, for a swim. What do you reckon? We'll go find a Let's water hole. Let's do it. Let's find a water hole and spend the rest of the day there. Yeah, and get, <laughs> escape these flies there. They're friendly over here. Hey guys, so this is the, the next day. Um, what we did is we went and checked out the waterfall. I shouldn't tell you about that one, hey? Yeah, we went to Bewley's water hole. Um, it's not very far from where we're staying. It's probably the easiest place to access a swimming hole in mm. Litchfield. You don't have to walk very far. It's like a 500 meter yeah. return walk. It's good for the kids. It's great. We, um, it was busy, but we were yeah. able to even find our own little secluded water, po um, water pool. So yeah. we had lots of fun. We took our masks, our yeah. snorkels, and we saw lots of little fish and shrimps and awesome. frogs and yeah, it was great. Um, and the oh. water's not too cold. It's not a thermal. Nah, drink, it's not thermal, but it was nice but and warm. It's fresh, clear water, yeah. and it's so good. It the was heat. really, really refreshing after the big um, hot day. It was like 38, I think, it got up to. Oh, I saw on the gauge. 38 degrees in winter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like the frog we saw um, is a, a northern uh, northern dart frog, which is pretty cool. Little white yeah, little frog. Yeah. And well, um, snorkeling in the waterfalls, we saw heaps of rainbow fish and some sort of gudgeons and stuff. So can't wait to uh, find out what they are and all that uh, but then last night we had a pretty chilled out time back at the zebra stones campground we um 
went in and had a nice yarn to the owners there and a few of the other guests it was awesome and then this morning we have come to first stop is the um the magnetic um, termite, mounds. termite mounds and yeah. we just fluked it we got here and the ranger here was talking to a couple of people and he's invited us to join in and listen in and we did that and um yeah we learned so much about it mate it's, it's so awesome um, when you get someone there who knows what they're talking about to tell you um, a bit about where we are it was awesome and then we had a yarn about a few other things anyway yeah. but now we are going to go and check out um one of the ford rough trucks hey which one is that yeah, I, th I think it's the Reynolds track, but we want to go to a place called Sandy Creek Falls or Janeira Falls. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a mission to get there. You have to fall drive and then you've got to walk like 1.4 k's each way. So yeah. we'll see how we go. But we can swim there? You, we can swim once, oh, cool. once we get there. It's um it's awesome. Not as busy as like Florence Falls, which yeah. is next to Bewley's, which is another easy accessible waterfall for us. Yeah. But we just thought, let's just do something. Yeah, let's get in there. All right, we're gonna get in there, do the full driving, show you a bit of the track, yeah. and then show you what is at the end. Yeah. Let's go. Fingers crossed we make it there. Yeah, well, <laughs> like most of the national parks, when they say it's a difficult track, it's usually not. It's yeah. pretty average. But anyways, we'll see and Al we'll tell you. Also, there have been fires around oh, here lately. Yes. So we're a little bit... Um, yeah, we were just talking to the ranger. We thought it was actually backburning because there's fires sort of everywhere around. But it turns out it was actually someone yeah. um, lighting them on purpose for yeah. arson and stuff. So it's yeah. not good to hear. But anyways, yeah. we'll, we'll play it safe and play flies here. Eh? Yeah. Anyways, we'll play it safe and... Um, Keep an eye on it, eh? Yeah, again? yeah, definitely. Like safety first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No, I think we're good. Let's go. Okay. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> ah, nice. Guys, just a quick note about the Vaud Drive Track. The Reynolds River Vaud Drive Track takes you into the waterfall there. Um, a lot of people say it's pretty rough and whatnot. It's really not. Just a bit of a long corrugated track. It's about five or eight k's. I can't remember exactly, but it's not um, too bad at all. We didn't even let our air down. We didn't even let the um, tires down, uh, and was all right. There is a bit of a long, um, deep water crossing, but it's only about 400 mil deep at the moment, and it was no drama either. Pretty good base, um, rocky at this end, and as you go at the exit on the other end, it's, it's a little bit sandy. But it was no dramas for us. We crossed it a couple of times already. But yeah, that's all I thought I'd mention that, um, in case you're wondering what the track is like going in. Because a lot, a lot of hype, a lot of people say it's, it's a rough track, and whatnot, but it is not at all. Anyways. So we just got back from Janeiro Falls and it was awesome. It was, Mint. yeah, they say <laughs> it's the best waterfall in Litchfield. We don't know. It it's was the only one we know, first really. waterfall that <laughs> we did, but it was really awesome. Like mm. it was well worth the, I think it's 1.7 k's in. It's um, a very, um, it's very rocky and it's a pretty rugged walk in, especially with the kids. Yeah. But definitely worth it, worth it, eh? Yeah, there was lots of people, like lots of little kids walking. So yeah. our boys felt like they could do it too. Yeah, it was good. Good snorkeling <laughs> yeah. in there too, lots of fish, sooty yeah. grunters, and um, a water monitor and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was the, good. the snorkeling was amazing, really. Yeah. It's like clear water. Yeah. Um, we saw huge sooty grunters and uh, an eel tail catfish. Yeah rainbow fish oh, so and good. the coolest thing we saw was this water monitor 
<laughs> soaking up on uh, soaking sun up on the banks and then it jumped back in the water and we actually got to see it hunting for fish so that was so cool eh? that was awesome yeah and then the walk back was hard <laughs> long and hot yeah the, the walk back was a lot longer than yep. the walk there but we made it we had lots of uh, snacks ready ice cold mangoes in the fridge oh, yes yeah it was good and now we're, we're just parked up here next to one of these uh, architectural <laughs> termite masterpieces mounds. termite mounds we we learned all about them this morning and now i just can't look at them the same way yeah. they are they are amazing it's so interesting to know what happens in there and how it's all built so yeah. hopefully elvin can explain that nah, to you really well yeah, I'll, uh... nah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways but yeah, it's the uh, end of the day here for us. It's five o'clock now. We're just going to head back to camp. And tomorrow we're going to be off to Kakadu somewhere. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps our video get, um, you know, reach out to other people, which is cool. And um, thanks very much for watching and supporting. And we'll yeah. see you in the next one. Yeah, bye. See you guys.